wise man once told me, you gotta genuflect for bad victory. I was gonna say, this game is OMG WTF OTL, which stands for Oh My God, What the Fuck, Face Palm onto the Ground. Uh, I already know something I'm supposed to avoid, so I'll show you guys right now. We begin the game into the adventures of OMG What the Fuck OTL. You so eager to buy the goddamn farm, sucker! If not, get a foot right now! Osaka Bosco wasn't messing around. At this rate, I could tell that I was seriously going to be pushing up daisies before lawn. What'll it be, dog? What now? Should I genuflect, guys, or do I not genuflect? I, I don't. Should I genuflect or genuflect or not genuflect? I was gonna say, genuflecting or not genuflecting is a very important decision here, guys. Do I genuflect? Or do I- okay, you guys say genuflect? People are saying let's genuflect this, sh so I guess we're gonna genuflect. That's okay. Genuflecting is what we'll do then. It was total humiliation to be genuflecting before the man who had raped my little sister and scooped out my best friend's eyes. But I didn't want to die. While there is life, there is hope. My precious life is irreplaceable. So I plastered on an obscenious smile on my face and meekly got down on my hands and knees. Yo, fucking loser! No man would bow down so easily! Die like the dog you are! Osaka Bancho then lifted one of his legs and sent it hurling towards my prostrated head. Its heel sank into my back of my head with a disgusting crunch. My head cracked open like a promegranate and fresh blood splattered everywhere. And I died. We need to get a clue or not. So... Yai. I was gonna say, that's what getting inflected means, I'm pretty sure you guys knew, but, uh, you guys probably get a clue, or no time for that? I'll let you guys decide. What's up? No time for that? Okay, that's what people are saying, so no time. You so eager to buy a Yeah, it says you so eager to buy the gun Yeah, we already read this, so we don't need to read it this time. Uh we don't get an effect. There's no reason to get an effect if we know it's gonna resolve ourselves into death. As if I howled, you pathetic snot. Don't you know what a real man never gives up? So shut your trap and bring it on, sucker. Osaka Bancho stared at me as if I were a specimen under glass. If that's your idea of a real man, then I'll crush you like an insect. Go ahead and try, fool. Gladly, dog. Osaka Bancho's diamond headbutt exploded against my nose, and my entire skull reverberated with the echoes of the hideous crunching sound. Crimson blood splattered everywhere. Ah! God damn it, I was screwed. It was totally hopeless. Here I was fine with all my strength, and Bancho was still just warming up. I mean, sure, my manhood was, was damn important, but guess what? My life was even more goddamn important. It wasn't too late. Maybe if I get inflected now? After all, if you define death as the ultimate defeat, Genflecting would be seen as a net win in some ways. That's right. Gotta look at the bright side of life. Er, death. We're not getting afflicting. Sorry, man. We're definitely not getting afflicting. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the word. Is it like genu? Is it like genuflect? Or is it genuflect? Or what? What would you say, Yumi? You probably know this word more than I do. No, PK, his manhood isn't defined that you're a man, not anything, not like what you're thinking. Genuflec, okay, it's genuflec. Got it. Don't genuflec. Who the fuck would genuflec at this late hour? And what the fuck does genuflec mean anyway? What was that, a tickle? If you're gonna kill me, do it right, you fucking pansy. I roared as blood dripped from my nose. A man with nothing to lose is the most dangerous man on earth. Right, my fatal fury was like that of a hungry wolf now. Plus the tea? Okay. 
And this stooge right here was nothing but prey. Kill him? Fuck that. When I was done with him, there'd be nothing left but bones, man! Bones! You're... Oh, I don't know if that's him or me right now. Okay. You're nothing but a barrel of laughs, ain't ya? Sure then. Fine. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I glared daggers at him, just like in one of those gangster movies you see on TV. I'll grant your wish for death! And then he does that, and with that, Osaka Bancho's diamond fist hammered into my face. My sight darkened, the nose and mouth filled with blood. I couldn't breathe anymore. It's not a common word, Yumi. Even they say they don't know what it is, apparently. And I can tell you, most people probably wouldn't know what it meant if you asked them, but... Then again, the act of genuflect probably is not done very often in this day and age. My face sight darkened, and my nose and mouth filled with blood. I couldn't breathe anymore. God damn it, I was totally screwed! Uh, everyone in the chat, who here has heard the term genuflect before? I might have heard it somewhere, but I do not know what it is off the top of my head before this game. I can say that. Hmm. You meet just because you're in English, remember that. Most people don't take majors in the English or reading and all that. It might be more commonly word read in other times or periods, which is why I'm guessing why it's being used here. But I have never heard anyone in my life, until this point, ever use that word, personally speaking. I might have read a book and I forgot about it, but I cannot recall any moment, so... Remember you. Well, I mean, there's words that people can, like, learn when it's not a commonplace. YouTube commenters, also, if you've heard of the term genuflect used in a term more commonly than just right now, say so in the comments below. This is for YouTube purposes once it's re-uploaded. No amount of guts was going on. We're going to make up for the total difference in everything between Osaka Bancho and me. On top of that, Osaka Bancho wanted to kill me, and to make matters worse, I wanted to die. Okay, guys, genuflect, don't genuflect, beg Carl Gotch, who happens to be walking by, for help. What do you guys think I should do? Okay, say so beg for Carl Gotch. That's probably going to be a bad option, but I guess I can beg Carl Gotch for help. Yeah, genuflect apparently is the act to kneel and... Forgiveness, I guess, but yeah, it was though. Beg Carl Gatch. Guess I'll beg him. The strongest of the strong, Master Carl Gotch, was just walking by. Master Gotch, I beg you, please help me. I pathetically screamed as I ran up to him. Well, let's see. What happened to you, boy? Yes, I am Carl Gotch, the wrestling master. What? Trying to pick a fight, old geezer? Ha! Oh, a street fight. I would never stoop down to that le- Before Master Gotch could finish his sentence, though, uh, okay. Though Asaka Bancho's diamond fist exploded in Master Gotch's head. But Master Gotch didn't even seem to notice. Instead, he stared down Asaka Bancho with a look so murderous that it could probably have killed a lesser man on the spot. Hmm, I may be old, but my blood still boils for combat! Okay. Do we aid Master Gots? Do we suddenly fall in love with Asaka Bancho? Do we get a fuck? Do we break up the fight? I want to suddenly fall in love with him. <laughs> we could aid. Let's see. We'll, f we'll fall in love with his. I yeah, know love is the option that we're all thinking. I know that's why I want to choose. Suddenly, I found myself falling in love with Asaka Bancho. This explained everything. Our fight was just a radical kind of sadomachoism or ma ma I, I said that completely wrong. That was all. Everything made sense now. I'd loved him so much for so long. I just didn't understand that until now. So I shouted at Asaka Bancho with everything I had. I, I, I love you. Asaka Bancho was so surprised that even his voice got disordered. What the fuck? The hell's wrong with you, dog? You're so punch drunk that you got mentally retarded or something? Don't you try to deny it. Look deeply inside your heart. You're definitely in love with me too. Yes, that is right. Your eyes are those of a lover. I know this well from my own experience. I... 
I love you too! Shouted Osaka Bancho. I ran up to him. And this is my love! Osaka Bancho screamed as he crushed me into his embrace and kissed me brutally. I almost went crazy with ecstasy. I am saying things wrong. I apologize. It's because I... Yeah. Osaka Bancho then took a lawn object out of his coat and threw it at Master Gotch. A sword whose edge glistened dangerously in the dark. Hey, geezer! Run us through with that, will ya? What for? What for, boy? Now that I fall in love, I've got no more right to be called a Boncho Dog! That made sense, so my love didn't allow a Saka Boncho to be a Saka Boncho anymore. I understand, boy. What a tragic way for things to end. Master Gotch went up with a sword and skewered both me and Asaka Boncho on it as we embraced each other. The pain ran through my chest. Boncho screamed, This is the proof of our love! I had no regrets. I lost my consciousness and happiness. Well... Oh. The game crashed. I couldn't take the love. <laughs> That's almost funny. It couldn't take the love. I'm guessing the game was supposed to crash. I don't know. It's kind of. It sounds kind of weird, but okay. Huh, too much love. All right, time for the next go. I I guess. You guys liking this game so far? I'm amused by it, but. There we go. Just align everything just right again. All right. Uh, we'll begin again. We're gonna skip past everything that we've already read. Don't get deflect. Skip on on ahead. Is there a way to save this game? Oh, there is a way to save. I wish I knew that earlier. Don't get deflect. All right, we get past all the text that we previously read. Okay, uh, here we go. This is the first point where I should save at. Uh, here we go. To start things off, I'm gonna get. I'm going to get deflect to see what happens here. Uh, there we go. I think it's the same thing that happened last time. Uh, let's get a clue this time. Kennedy died of starvation, sucker! Yeah, that's right, you homie dog. If you hadn't eaten all the steaks in Dallas, that shit may never have gone down! My bad, my bad, yo! Anyway, dog, it's not about you here. You little fool, don't you see that you can't just genuflect your, uh, genuflect to your enemy like that? Death to all cowards! Got it, Holmes. Then go try again! Okay, let's run away. Which crashes the game, okay. I guess. What does genuflect on the main menu do? I'm curious now. What do you do on the main menu, Geneflect? Oh, it just gets right to the Geneflect thing. <laughs> get a clue. I better move this down a little bit. Uh, there we go, that should be good. That's gonna tell us not to Geneflect. There we go. Now we're gonna load our save game. Load from here. Load, yes. Now this time, I'm probably gonna die from this, but let's not Geneflect this time. I spit all the blood in my mouth out of Saka Boncho. Fuck! My eyes! I can't see anything! Our Sakabacha staggered and writhed like a wrestler who had just hit with the great Kobasi's mysterious poison mist attack. I've got you now! I screamed as I tackled him head on. Fuck, I'm blind, you dirty bastard! By the time my blood rage subsided, I'd somehow managed to sit and try his helpless body or stride. And from there, I pounded him with all my might, punch after punch after punch. Fuck! Osaka Bancho screamed, What the hell is with this avalanche of punches? It hurts! It hurts! Then, genuflect, I said as I continued my relentless assault. What the fuck? Why do? Why the hell do I have to genuflect? I need to say it right. Uh, okay, we're gonna make this a second save file. Yes. Make him genuflect. Don't make him genuflect. Make myself genuflect. <laughs> I'm gonna genuflect. I knew it was gonna be the same thing. Uh, let's load. I knew it was gonna be that. Uh, let's get back to that last save file. Uh, and then we start. Uh, don't make him genuflect. I'm curious what might happen. Let's uh, let's make him genuflect first, actually. Then genuflect right now and taste the feeling of your own pride being torn apart. Okay, sir. Anything you say, but please get off me, or I won't even be able to genuflect. So I said, very well. And then I stood up and got off him. You're going down, sucker! What? 
Osaka Bacha whipped a pistol out of his jacket and just like they were out of jail, just like he were in James Bond or something. What do you really expect? I mean, to genuflect like a sorry son of a bitch? Don't kneel and perish! Well, I lost. But nothing I could do about it now. It was almost thrilling to be defeated so thoroughly, and for some reason, everything seemed to be so funny. Sure, fine, I'll genuflect. But I found it so funny to be kneeling and saying, I beg your pardon, please, sir, that I burst out laughing instead. I felt a rush of total euphoria. Musaka Bancho pressed the muzzle of his gun against my temple and said, Now say it loud. Uh, now say it louder and clear, dog. And then I screamed, You're the one who's going down, sucker! What the f- W2F? And that was the last thing I heard. I died. Okay. Ha. Load. Yep. Now let's see what happens if, uh, don't make him genuflect. Okay. No, the time to making him genuflect is over. Time to kill him and devour him instead. What? And so I kept hitting him over and over until his breathing stopped. Osaka Bancho died in short order. Anyway, I got so into it that I burst out laughing as I beat him to a pulp. And then I realized that was uh, I was getting really hungry. Which was why, as I waxed poetic about the death of the Bay of Toyama, I ate him. For real. I really ate him. He was yummy. For real. And after that, I couldn't hold it all in and I ended up kinda taking a dump in my pants during class. That was all yesterday. Alright, the day before yesterday, all of us with the Kanto Alliance went skating, and it was there that he found out that Kanagawai Abancho didn't know how to tie his shoes. We all laughed at him like crazy. So instead of skating, we started examining that Kagawacha Bancho that couldn't and couldn't do. We burst out laughing again when we found out that he didn't know what the difference between cabbage and lettuce was. And we also found out that he was somehow way slower than everyone else when he took the escalator. And we burst out laughing yet again when we ha ha handed him a Pepsi and convinced him that if it was Coke, not a Pepsi. Finally, on our way back, with Kanawaki Bancho tried to be a know-it-all and told us, Dudes, if you ever make sure that even your asshole is uh, suntanned, you'll never get sick. We all died laughing. The game froze again. I think the game freezes whenever it finishes. That's so weird. Anyways, though... Close the program. Which means the next path. Alright. Through the magic of genuflecting. Because I'm, I'm, I need to learn how to say that word properly. But I mispronounce things all the time. So... I guess we're going to begin again. Except this time we're going to load our save file from... Not there. That's the same save file we loaded from. Which means that we need to go to this one. Yep. God damn it, I was totally. Yeah, there we go. Uh, beg. Yeah, there we go. We already read all this, so. Okay, now we save our game again at the third slot. There we go, yeah. Magic. Okay, now do we aid. We already fell in love, so now do we aid him? Do we genuflect? Or I want to see what happens if we genuflect right now. <laughs> uh, load again. We don't need a genuflect. It's just going to lead to the same thing I've already determined. Uh, break up the fight or aid Master Gotch? You guys, okay, you guys are saying aid. Okay, I'll aid. Master oh, Master Gotch, let's wipe him out! Ecstatic with pro, uh, with prospect of having Master Gotch at my side, I charged into battle. What the? That very moment, Master Gotch gripped my arm and locked my elbow joint with no effort at all. My elbow joint then made a grinding noise and then suddenly snaps like a chicken wing and as my arm bent in the direction that nature never intended it to. I took a deep breath and I screamed as if the end of the world had come. Do you really think I need your help, boy? A hand grabbed my neck and tightened like a vice. It was foolish to think that Master Gotch was a nice guy. As the fresh blood poured from my mouth and nose, I heard the sound of the two men fine from far away. Then, my eyes failed me, and I died. Da-da-da-da! Which means now it's time to do the opposite. Which means we're gonna break up the fight. I try to stop them fight because fine was wrong, but they'd already started, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. They didn't care about me anymore. So I shrugged and went back home. 
When I got back, Kanajawa Bancho had dropped by to hang out. We warmed up by talking about perverted plans which we could have executed, but that we did not have the courage to do. For example, setting up a hidden camera inside the girls' locker room, or perhaps pulling the girls' panties down knowing that we'd be get suspended. The old woman who lived next door got so annoyed with our loud laughter that she came and scolded us. In revenge, we poisoned a sweet cake and fed it to her dog. We burst out laughing when the dog started vomiting after a bit. Totally tubular. Alright. That's okay, we did what we had to do. Apparently. Don't have time for that shit here. Kanaga Bacho out. Guess we're hearing him out. Yo, yo, sis up! Kanagawa Bacha's here, dude. Uh, Kan- oh, Kanagawa Bacha here, dude! From here on out, nothing has anything to do with the main story. Totally tubular, don't you dig? Don't you think? Anyway, my pride and joy is coming up with this totally perverted make-believe scenarios. That's totally tubular, too, yeah! Wanna hear one? I guarantee you'll have a good time, my man. Eh, if you don't, then go ahead. You can select the staff credits. Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely mentally ill. Anyway, let's roll! Okay... The argumentative childhood friend? Aro Wh which one do you guys want to hear? The argumentative childhood friend? Aroge Kane Takamoto's tentacle be a beast fetus? Should we get a flex or should we roll staff credits? Okay, the ar argumentative childhood friend. You guys are saying the first one. Alright! Dramatic Persona. Me. Okay. A cheerful high school junior. Yokohara. A cute, a cute school freshman. My childhood... Oh, wait, I think this is me still talking. Yukahana Hakero, a cute high school freshman. My childhood friend. She gets really pissed when anyone talks about her flat chest. The setting. Tomo uh, tomorrow is our school festival. Now Yukana belongs to the art club, but their preparations aren't complete yet. Actually, Yukano is the only one working on the preparations at all. Everyone else is either sick or playing hooky, which means that somehow I got roped into helping her. Mm -hmm. Yukano is busy putting up decorations, perched on tiptoes a high atop a stepladder. To be more to be more exact, right now she's trying to mount an oil painting on an unreasonably high location. And her stance is really precarious. Really, really. I mean, I even told her I'd do it for her, but she flat out refused, saying that this painting was really important to her. It's a piece of abstract art, and I really don't get what it's supposed to mean. The only thing I can say for sure is that it's a depiction of this vaguely humanoid figure in yellow and white in the middle of campus. I'll admit that it does give you that warm fuzzies, kind of. Don't fall now, okay? I call out to her from across the room. We're all spreading out some blackout curtains. I know, I know. She replies about the almost boyish lilt, or I guess lilt it, in her voice that was always been there ever since she was a little kid. She mumbles a few things to herself for a while and then turns to me and cheerfully exclaims, I'm finished! At this moment, the stepladder sways and Yukana loses her balance. Oh, okay. I'm gonna save my game again, I guess. I thought we were almost done with the game. Okay, should I save her? Should I sit back and pick my noise? Or should I get new pretend you like... <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Sorry, out of contact. What was this loud? Okay, save her. Okay, we're gonna save our childhood friend. Uh, I dive to... Okay, I dive and catch Yukana as she falls, protecting her from the impact of my body. Huh? 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 Are, are you alright? After an odd silence, she nods. Yeah. Anyway, this is not good. I mean, here I am, lying on the floor, and there Yukana is lying on top of me, her arms tied around me. And to make matters worse, she got her face buried against my chest. Are you hurt anywhere? No, not at all. It's not that. But her voice has none of its usual spunk. It's not that. Then are you not feeling well, or...? I'm not sick, and I'm not hurt at all either, silly! She says crossly. Then get off me! I can't! Why? Cause I like you. What?! I like you. I like you, so I don't want to move from here. 
Even though it's getting really dark in the classroom, it's obvious that Yukana was blushing. I've loved you for so long that every single time I tried to confess to you, I got so embarrassed, I... <clears throat> I couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. If I don't do it now, if I let you go now, I may never screw up the courage to do it again. So, let me say it one more time. My voice is kind of messing up, so let me drink some water. Ah. Ugh. She puts her arms around my neck and murmurs. I love you very much. <clears throat> I, if I coughed, it'd probably help it, so give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. I love you very much. There, she continues. Now I've said it. The ball's in your court. What's that supposed to mean? I'm oblivious as hell. Man, this tension is already too much for me, and Yukana isn't making it any better. In fact, she's making it ten, no, a hundred, no, a thousand times worse. Um, um, Yukana murmurs softly. Just tell me what you feel. I, I won't mind. I know I'm not that. Oh, <clears throat> this is her. <clears throat> I know I'm not that pretty, and that my personality isn't all that great, and that there are a lot of girls who are a lot cuter than me out there. Great. What now? Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going to slot seven. So, guys, do I love her too? I love her, but I'm going to knock her out. Or <laughs> I'm not genuflecting. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you guys say? Love her, <laughs> love her, but knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna love her and knock her out. I love her so much that I knock her out! I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I feel so trapped and cornered that I'm losing my mind! I run down a corridor as fast as my legs can take me, vomiting blood as I go. Blah, 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 blah. After that, I don't remember anything that ever that happened. I have no memory of it all at all. All I know is that when I came to, I find myself charging into a U.S. Army base, buck naked with a katana. I cut down the first soldier I see, trembling with some indescribable emotion, yelling out every curse and swear word I know. My conscience is faced again, and the next thing I know, I've got two severed heads in one hand, and a katana dive around with blood in the other. I've been painted by several searchlights, and there's a bunch of U.S. soldiers with assault rifles, grenades, shotguns, machine guns, hot swords, and tanks right in my perimeter. It's a perfect stage on which to die. This scene reminds me of famous words of the movie director Orson Welles. Ask not what you do for your country, ask what's for lunch. Then I realized that if there were ever a pro wrestler who used drunkenness as his gimmick, then surely his finishing move would be a drunken signer from the top rope. And so I cry out, BEHOLD! THIS IS THE SPIRIT OF THE KAMIKAZE! I lunge as I raise my katana over my head. LONG LIVE THE EMPEROR! A murable bullets from machine gun mow me down. It's an oddly satisfying sensation. Okay. Now we're going to load our save file. Oop, from the last one. Well, that was something else. I love you very much. There she continues. <laughs> I know. Uh, we're going to skip that to the choice. Great. What now? I love you. Me too. You too what? He kind of stares at me with a smile on her face. Uh, nothing. Oh, come on now. She knows that I'm absolutely head over heels in love with her, and yet she's teasing me like this. Okay. <clears throat> hey, come on, tell me, you meanie. Dude, you're the meanie. But I'm not being mean. I just want to know. Her face and those oh-so-cute blushing cheeks is so close to me. I've never seen her face up this close before. She's lovely. I can't restrain myself anymore. I take her head in my hands and kiss her with everything I've got. She flinches back for a moment, and then she relaxes and offers absolutely no resistance. Dot, dot, dot. By the time we get out, it's already pitch dark outside. Kinda cold, isn't it? She snuggles up against me as if it were the most natural thing in the world. And I put an arm around her as if it were the most natural thing in the world. I pray this happiness will last forever. Last forever. Uh, but this is a translation of a Japanese game, keep that in mind. An unofficial translation of that. I pray this happiness will last forever, but then... I snap awake at the sound of Mozart's music. Up, uh, friend, stop awful! It's the captain's voice. Hmm, I must have been napping. 
We shall declare our independence now! Yes, finally the time has come! I can't afford to be napping at a time like this! After all, as crewman aboard the submarine Yamato, I have no choice but to stir be stirred up by my captain's words. The Soviet Navy, the American Navy, the Japanese Navy. From here on out, the fighting's just gonna get more intense. And this small warship is filled with smell of tension and rejoicing. Okay, I guess here, Bacho out. Yo, dude, Colonel Bacho here, how is my erotic story? Oh, by the way, I've got no more stories from here on out. Totally tubular, don't you think? By the way, you know about the legend of corpses buried under the cherry trees? Well, that doesn't compare with the deep shit buried in my stomach! That's why right, I'm full of shit! <laughs> anyway, tell me, dude, what's the difference between split ends and split hair? No, take that back, never mind, yo! Anyways, this is the only way to get to the true end! Wanna see it, or have you sad enough? Uh, we're going backwards for a second. Anyways, though, uh, we're gonna load, uh, I think it was this save file, maybe? What save file is this? I honestly don't know at this point. There's so many save files. I think I might have froze the game. Yep, I froze the game. Which means we have to load, load again. This is an interesting game. This is exactly what I expected when I chose a game called OMG What the Fuck LOL or OTL. And we're gonna begin from here again. Load. Alright, uh, what was this save file? Start from here. I love you very much. There, she continues now. Uh, I think this is the question I answered earlier, which means I have to load before this one. Load six. Yes. Okay, save her. You guys, uh, I'm gonna sit back and pick my nose. I'm sorry, guys. I have to do this. Hmm, I'm digging out some impressively huge boogers here. Hmm, that's weird. The stepladder's fallen over and Yukata's under it. Her neck's kind of bent weird. Hmm, that's odd. Why is there all this blood flowing from her nose? Well, eh, whatever. Not my problem. It's late, so I'm going home. The following day, the school was in an uproar, and I was scolded to the point of trauma about having kept quiet about Yukata's death. What? As I watched dogs being born, I slowly came to the revelation that only fascism will save the world. Maybe that's what made Hitler go off and do all that shit, you dig? Anyway, it's not a bunch of your suckers, so you... you... So you chose snot over a girl, dog. Hm. I guess that's one way to be manly. If you have no regrets, hey, whatever. Better than dying yourself. But listen up, Holmes. If you're so bored that you're picking your goddamn nose, then do something constructive for a change. Like jerk off or something. Anyways, though, yeah, that was that. That just happened. Uh, I think the game froze again. This game seems to freeze a lot, and I don't know why. It's not a particularly demanding game. That's okay, we'll close you again. Seems to do that whenever the game ends, especially. Uh, let's see. Which means that we're going back to this one, and there we go. This is definitely a game. Begin. Uh, I think I want to load the tentacle rape scenario there. I mean, what? What's this load? Is this the right load? Here we go. Uh, okay, there's actually three things. Uh, I guess we'll, the argument, okay. Arogi Keen Takemeto's Tentacle Beast Fetish. Okay. Fetish, fetish, whatever. That is censored. I think. And the game crashed. Ha! 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 Is the game supposed to crash like this? Or is there just something weird with this? So we're gonna move that that way. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Begin. Uh, I think it was this save. Save file five, was it? Yeah, here we go. Now see if it crashes again. If it does, I'll just go forward. Oh, no, it doesn't. Innumerable tentacles wiggled with glee, entering every single ophorus, including pores, that the victim, a beautiful woman, had. Thus violated, the woman withered with unspeakable pleasure, and then she died. A man ran to try to help the woman, and then he died too. Two brown bears abruptly started copulating next to the two corpses. Their hips were violently crashing into each other with indescribable force. Whoa, I never knew that brown bears having sex was an invincible force of nature. Wait, the female's bears moans. Oh my god, what the fuck, barbecue? Oh, okay, uh, 
I, I, I guess that's French. What? Uh, or German, maybe. I don't know. La la, sure, sure. So that's good. My god. That's the beginning to the devil summoning ritual. How could a bear do that? This means the world ends today. Tomorrow will never come. Ejaculation. A baby bear was born. That bear's cub was really cute, too. Especially the way it was smiling, yes. And thus, Gordon Freeman came along and beat the bear cub to death with a crowbar. Mission accomplished. Wait, is this Gordon Freeman's so-called heroism? Okay. Well... <laughs> The game froze there. I'm not sure if there's anything after that. I'll try one more time to see if it doesn't crash this time because I feel like the crashing is something on the game, maybe loading things too slowly because of all the music. I have a feeling it's trying to load the music and then it crashes because it didn't load all the way. That's my theory right now. Okay. Beginning. Save file 5. There we go. Now we're gonna go through this because I want to see if there's anything else after that. Listen on? Yeah, I want to listen on to this. I knew there was gonna be something else. Yo, dude, color bot your hair? Well, yeah, I know that was totally uncool. I don't have any imagination or motivation, my good man. Gaia, Gaia. Anyway, let's just, uh, just one, let me say one last thing. One last thing, I swear. You know, they said that the only thing hatred gives birth to is hatred. That's wrong, don't you think? See, when you hate, you become hungry. When you catch the hatred onto vegetables, curry rice may gets made into flesh, right? Therefore, hatred gives birth to curry, quid. Okay. Well, that was a very good moral lesson for the people. So we're starting from here then. Anyway, this is only the t only way to get to the true end. Want to see it or have you had enough? Sure. Uh, let's see if I have I've had enough. Oh, that just leads me back to the beginning. Hatred makes curry. That's what we learned today. Sure, why not? I was standing on the beach alone. It was odd as the sounds of the waves crashing as the shore were gradually fading away. And there was a tightness in my chest for some reason. I didn't get it. Perhaps I was thinking about the men who had turned towards the red evening sun and were now no more. And as I thought that, memory upon memory flooded back into my mind. I wondered if the days of life or death battles with the Saka Bancho would never come back. I wondered if I'd never seen the life of the like of Master Gotch and his burning uh, indomitable spirit again. I wondered if I'd never be able to listen to Kanagawawa Bancho's erotic hallucination again, hallucinations again. And I wondered if the dog I poisoned wouldn't rise from its grave. Yeah, probably. They'd all never come back again. Somehow, I knew this to be true. The Carmen evening glow, so like much like blood, painted the beach with its eerie lights. A bloody legend had ended, and now I awaited the beginning of a new legend. Dot 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 dot. I think my game's gonna crash again, but I'm gonna relaunch it for the true ending. The true ending. I think once it loads the music once, it's fun. It's just, I think it's trying to load the music too quickly and then it crashes when it tries to do that. I'm guessing whatever program they made this in wasn't made for really large music files. That's my guess, at least. So now... Now we skip past all this. Dot, 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 dot. Come on, don't crash now. Fight the power game. Nah, it crashed again. Fuck, you're crashing. It's probably some really big file which is making it crash. It's probably what's going on. As I said, the music is trying to load itself and it goes bomb again. I will never see the true ending. I need to know how this epic story ends. I mean, you guys need to know how it ends too, right? I know the true ending is game crashes. Maybe if I go a little bit slower and let the music uh, load itself a bit. I don't know. I don't know why that would work, but maybe it would. Dot. 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 Here we hopefully go! In the next episode! 
Everything explodes into burning immolation! It's a never-ending bloody summer of ponchos! Can you even look at it without going blind? The pure white light of summer shines on the disused tracks! Two men have a fateful encounter on a railway made brown with time and rust! Their names are Shikaki Sakurazaka and Karasua Nakuza Nazuki! And now, blood will rain as Nakanase Alliance strikes back! The sunlight of the summer of 2001 will disappear in bloody mist! It all starts with one man, Osaka Boncho, and then Kagagawa Boncho Master Gotch, and even the legendary Sumilaya Boncho joins the fray! An all-star cast will come together to form the greatest Boncho visual novel ever made in Japan! Big Bang tentative title! Chunky is like a flame, you see. Karasai says, a smug smile on his face, or he says, the greater the fuel, the larger the flame. Samurai Bancho laughs manically as he swirls the wingless of his right hand, no doubt to check out for Wine's legs. Then when the conflict ends, you will be the first to be burned to a crisp! Uh, no. No, I'm ice. Flames can't hurt me. No, you better be watching your own back, dog! Heh. <laughs> I'm the Earth. No matter how many trees are burnt, the Earth itself will endure and scratched. Ha! Ah! Some other bunch of gulps down the high-class wine. The prime of manhood, 1982 Reservoir Vintage, with a single smooth motion. Dot. Listen up. We'll show these kinds of darks who's boss. We'll annihilate them all. And we'll start with this little present here. Then Osaka Bancha, who has brought 300 school game leaders of Akatsuki Alliance under his leadership, pushes Draga High School Bancha, who's been tied up hand and foot, onto the railway tracks. And a bullet train rushes through the station. Dragon High School's Bancha screams as he expresses train rips him to pieces. Kansai Alliance Dogs, are you? Well then. Two str Kansai Alliance Dogs, are you? Well then. Two strange men are standing in Chaka's way. No. Standing is quite the right word for it. A small man of about 4'3 is sitting on the shoulder of a huge, well pit man who is almost 6'7. That's right! I'm Tukakomei Aboncho, and this is. The little guy pokes the huge guy's head. Ah! Uh, I guess it's him. The juice! What the? F what the? F WTF? Your name, idiot! Not juice! I want juice! The gigantic aw oh, man slowly crumbles. Quit it with the juice! Just introduce yourself already! Um, uh, ketchup! OMG, what the WTF? What on earth is that supposed to mean? Drink! OMG, what the fuck? Barbecue! You don't get drink ketchup! Uh, I'm Boken Boncho. Oh, MD, what the fuck? You're so slow! Now stop masturbating and look forward to it. OMG, what the fuck? OTL Finn. The more you know, alright? I think I learned a valuable lesson here today. And I hope you all. Oh, we got an extra menu now! Uh, oh, it has all the music and all the visuals. If we ever wanted to live through the fun times having music in front of us. Well, that was definitely a journey. A journey made for a man and a half. I can't click 10 or 11. Is there two scenes I haven't seen yet? I haven't seen 15 either? What is this shit I haven't seen yet? Or maybe I did see them, because there was a few screens, like me getting stabbed, but that wouldn't have saved. Actually, let me do something, let me do something. There's something I need to check. There's something that can only begin now. Something that can only happen if I load my second save file. Oh, actually, it's my third save file, not that one. No, 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 no don't save. I need to load my third save file. Which crashed my game. That's okay, I already know what, I kind of know what two scenes are going to be added there, so I'll just do my third save file, I'm going to see the love ending just one more time. I need to know that uh, uh, Boncho loves me. Boncho loves me, yes he does, that's why he rubs me into crust, I'm gonna load my game right now. Loading game, out, loading three, I think it's three. There we go, with all the music stuff happening, because we fall in love, as love happens between the two of us. 
It's a very extreme sort of love, you see. There's another image, see, then we get stabbed to death. I had no regrets, lost my conscience and happiness. Yo, sis up, but the, the, the tubular one here, one I get, uh... Roll staff credits. Scenario, when I, illustrations, try to tan music only on my, oh, okay. Then it fades out. Okay, that's all that we need to see today. Next up, another visual novel, because we still got about two hours before Yumi's stream. Hope you guys like this game. What do you all think of it? I, I liked it. <laughs> Perfect visual novel to start things off with. Uh oh. I'm <laughs> Clanat, no, Clanat's for something another time. I'm playing different visual novels, so. Next up, another visual novel. This one will probably be more serious than this one, I think. Onward, 